Okay, one, two, three. Hello everyone, another fantastic, magical morning. And today, the new set is finally here, March of the Machine, or Mom. And we're gonna play another standard event, and we do fairly well. So we're gonna play a new ad adapted version of my Golgari fight rigging with a pretty big dinosaur. Let's go straight to the deck list. Okay, so this is the deck we are gonna play today. Uh, yeah, and it's a fight rigging deck, which plays around this card right here called fight rigging. It's a three mana enchantment with hideaway five, which means that when it enters the battlefield, you look at the top five cards and exile one of them face down. Then at the beginning of combat on your turn, put up some some counter on target creature you control. Then if you control a creature with a power seven or greater, you may play the exile card without paying for its mana cost. So the goal is to get, you know, fight rigging down and a creature with power six, which which, you know, Shaked and Heavy and also Archfiend of the Dross, which means that you could potentially cast a very big spell on turn 4 for free. And for big spells we have Titan of Industry, which you've probably seen before if you've seen any of my videos. It's a very popular card in mid-range and green decks. Uh, but the new cards we're gonna play are Itali Primal Conqueror. It's a 7 mana 7 7 trample. When it enters the battlefield, each player exile, exiles cards from the top of their library until they exile an online card. Then you may cast any number of spells from among the online cards exiled this way without paying their mana cost. And then for 10 mana, you can transform it into this Itali Primal Sickness, which is an 11 11 trample indestructible. Uh, whenever it deals damage to a player, they get that many poison counters, but in all fairness, I do not think we're ever gonna cast... Uh, <laughs> we're gonna transform Itali ever. The next card that's new is going to be the Vorinclex. It's a 5 mana 6 6, Trample Reach, Frexian Praetor, since we are in a Frexian set. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, search your library for two forest cards and put it in your hand. And for eight mana, you can uh, transform it into the Grand Evolution, which is a saga. At chapter one, mill ten cards, then put up to two creature cards from among the mill cards onto the battlefield. Uh, distribute seven plus one so counters among any number of target creatures you control. And final chapter, until end of turn, creatures you control get for one colorless mana. This creature fights target creature you don't control, and then you get Warring Clicks back. So that's pretty dope. And the rest of the deck is pretty standard. We have some removal with Go for the Throat Infernal Grasp. We draw some cards with Reckoner Bankbuster and Glissa is just insane from the previous set. And yeah. And since we are playing a red card that, in all fairness, we're not supposed to cast, uh, but there's a chance we might get it in our hand quite a bit, as so we do need to play with some red sources. So having, you know, Zytor's Proving Ground, which is a swamp, mountain, a forest, we can actually play with Drag to the bottom, so we can occasionally give minus four, minus four, because, you know, we have three different uh, basic land types via the domain effect. And that is essentially the deck. We do get six wins on my first standard event of this set, so I'd say that's pretty successful. Let's go to the first game. Okay, let's get started. And actually, let's see if they fixed the bugging thing. Oh, they <laughs> did not. Well, it's nice to have, you know, a menu where you can't read what's on it, but I'm sure they're gonna fix it in the next set. Anyway, uh, let's get started. As always, if you have any questions about the deck or the gameplay, please don't hesitate to ask me in the comments below. You know I love to hear from you, and it helps the video out. And if you happen to enjoy the content, consider giving it a like. That would make my day. Alright, let's start the first game. Okay, we get to go first, and yeah, this hand is fine. We have potentially a big spell played for free on turn 4, and my two. You're my first opponent going into a standard event in March of the Machine. Let's see what you have, buddy. Yeah, it's always stressful to make something. <coughs> Aww. All right, soldiers right away. Some scammy people trying to still take advantage of people trying new decks. Ha ha ha, we'll see how it goes. My two. Yeah, it's really, they have some really interesting cards in March of the Machine and, well, making a new deck on day one, trying to get somewhere. Oh, Talia, great. It's always a bit stressful, but I think we got there. So let's get the Shakedown Heavy. This deck should, in theory, be able to handle these aggressive decks because, you know, our combo piece are big creatures that should be able to block. So let's see if they have their Brutal Cathar or... Okay, they have nothing. So I think they might have a Counterspell here. Uh, hmm. Well... Well, let's go for it. Uh, if they have Counterspell, they have Counterspell. Uh, okay, they don't. Well, that's interesting. Well, let's go ahead and attack. See if he wants to block. What else do they have? Ah, you. Well, if you want to trade, you know, at least three creatures. 
for... <laughs> You're still gonna take 6 damage because of the Archfiend. I mean, no one ever reads that card, no, that card, because no one ever plays it. But yeah, you, you did it. You defeated my Shaked and Heavy. Good job. And yeah, 6 damage to the opponent because Archfiend is just such a boss creature. Yeah, I love fight rigging. It's so great. So let's see if they have their stupid. Yep, there's Brutal Cathar. Sadly, we don't have any triumphs for the drag to the bottom, which is a bit annoying. But we'll play the fight rigging. Oh, look at that. Actually, let's play the fight rigging out here. And uh, yeah, we'll get something big next turn. We'll get, uh, well, Titan of Industry is pretty sweet, wouldn't you say? So yeah, let's see if my two is ready for the surprise. Do they play counter spells? I don't think so. And even if they do, I think we're safe. Hmm, we could just play Shaked on here actually. Uh, just to be extra safe. If they have, they could have what's called uh, Fateful Absence, but besides that, I don't know what else they have. Uh, my two. Do you have another? Take the negotiation. Okay, I'll just pay for that. <laughs> Great, and here's the Titan. <laughs> Your move, opponent. Ah, oh, come on, don't be such a wuss. Okay, uh, we don't get to go first. I guess our luck has all ran out, and this hand is very, very bad. We do have some removals. We could potentially survive until Warring Clax, and yeah, Warring Clax will fetch the mana to actually be able to get Itali out, so. Mono Black, that is not too bad. They can really interact with the. Uh, oh, you're such an annoying bitch. Stop. Okay, well, it looks like he's playing a mid-range account deck, which is good for us. Like uh, like I said, they don't really have removal for enchantments, besides, you know, Infernal... No, what's called Invoke Despair. But uh, we can survive until then. Bankbuster, huh? Cool. Uh, let's just get you out and pass the turn. And then with Vorin clicks out, we'll fetch two, uh, what you might call it, uh, Triumphs, so we can get the tally out as well. Yes, 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 Torvik. I didn't get the land. Lol. Such a shame. Uh, let's get the Gliss out here, and uh, yeah, I just threaten him a little bit. Gliss is such a cool card. I mean, not even Shoulder can stand up to this one. First Strike and Death Touch, that's just a very me. Oh wow, you really like cards, don't you? Okay, well, it's fine with me. What are you gonna do? Another Dress, <laughs> why not? Drag to the bottom or Fight Rigging? Which one are you gonna pick? Alright, that's kind of weird. I mean, you don't seem to be playing a lot of creatures. Let's go ahead and attack here. And we could remove the last counter from Bankbuster, but I, w I want the card. Cards are, you know, like an addiction. You draw a card, it's better than you know, hearing the words, I love you. Trust me, I've never heard one of them, but still, it's, it's still pretty good. Uh, well, it's Archfiend or Archfiend, so we'll go with the Archfiend. And let's play you out. And yeah, we'll go with that. Now, I just realized I played the fight rigging after I attacked, which was kind of stupid. But uh, that's what it is. I was hoping of getting a creature out or something. Oh, what that? Okay. People still play this card? To each is for our own. So I guess we do... We could attack and uh, I don't... Well, I don't want to sacrifice three permanents at the same time. But let's go ahead and fetch a couple of triumphs so we can actually play out this Itali. Because Itali would be dope if I can showcase it, you know? <laughs> that being the new card and in the new set. And my girlfriend is watching a TV show on the door next <laughs> next door, so hopefully it doesn't leak into the microphone. <sighs> but we're getting an Archfiend out, which is dope. And uh, maybe just a... Nah, we should attack next turn. Actually, let's go for it. Let's just... Let's not be wusses here. Let's attack. I'll just sacrifice some lands. I don't think he has a way to deal with all my creatures. And otherwise he can't let me deal the damage. Because uh, maybe he wants to wait until he'll attack with the Vorin Clock so he can <laughs> make me sacrifice 7 permanents, which would be terrible, but still. Eh. I don't know. Mono Black. The first rope of the season, love it. It was not very quick, though. It was not very long. Alright, so we're gonna sacrifice 3 permanents, that's fine. It's still gonna take 2 damage because Archfiend of the Dross is just that good. I think we can sacrifice the Fight Rigging. We've already gotten what we wanted from it. Uh, these two Pain Lands can go away. Torvik, who forgot to put a capitalized first letter, god knows why. Alright, Shelly has joined. 
I am actually not threatened by that card whatsoever, if I'm honest. Uh, let's, even if we attack here and he blocks my Warren Clex, we have lethal. So that's pretty good. <laughs> he blocks 5, it takes 7, it takes what? 2, 8, 9, 10, 11, plus 2 more damage. Actually, no, we don't have lethal. My bad. Can I please play this card? Or do you want to crew up your Bankbuster? Thank you. And uh, Warren Classics is legendary, so we're not doing that. We can do Archfiend of the Draws. And I do want to make a Golgari deck with Warren Clux and Shieldred, the, kinda, the new Shieldred, but for now we got this. But now we should have Lethal, double Archfiend, because uh, Warren Clux will be two uh, damage through, two, nine, twelve. Yeah, we got 16 damage instead. Archfiend is just that good. Would you like to draw a card? <laughs> yes, please. I don't mind taking two damage. Alright, and here's the damage. Archfiend of the draws, minus four damage. Boom, baby. Alright, hey, my luck is starting to change. And this hand is... Pfft. I mean, it's fine. We just need to find one big creature. It's three tap lands is pretty gross, but hello. Sure, hello, dude. Ahahaha, <laughs> mono red, great. I love mono red. It's just, you know, that one thing that gets you out in the morning is playing as mono red. So yeah, we are in the place. So we should be, you know, if you're gonna make a deck in today's meta, or I mean, the meta is pretty unstable right now. It should be able to handle the aggressive decks on the play. If you can't do that, I mean, pack your deck up and <laughs> play whatever the opponent is playing. Uh, right, we have two fight riggings and we have a Glissa. Let's see if they have a um, uh, lightning strike. Well, at least Glissa's pretty good here. I mean, if we attack, we can destroy his Kimono. <laughs> I wonder if they're even gonna bother reading the card. Alright, Mono Red or Pigeon King. Name is pretty dope. Mechanized Warfare, alright, so if we connect with damage... Oh, I didn't... Yeah, if we connect with damage, do we kill the Warfare or Etching? And... Do, 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 do. Hmm... Well, we're playing Mew out, regardless. We should play... We should kill the Mechanized Warfare, and uh, we'll just use Drag to the bottom to finish off his board. I mean, Titan's pretty sweet. Uh, okay, counter on Mew. And next turn when we attack, we can put Glissa out of range for a uh, drag to the bottom. Oh, destroy a target enchantment. How about you? Easy. Alright, squee, huh? Well, I'm glad I got rid of the mechanized warfare. Oh, Monas. Oh, God. The whole cavalry is here. Unfortunate. We're gonna go down to what, like, five? Ah, oh, six. I can't do math to save my life. Uh, what do we do here? You for sure. And bam. Uh, we just destroy and it, we, I don't want to draw more cards and... Uh, because uh, we are at 6 life. I, I don't feel comfortable taking another damage. Let's just do this because it's funny. I've never done that before. And let's go ahead and wipe the board. So we could technically use... Uh, what do you might call it? Squee to get it back. Hit me for three, I think. And if he has land, potentially play with fire or something else. Give it down to... what is it? One? <laughs> but I think... I mean, if he has two lightning strikes, then it's just game is over for me. For me use. Sure, well, okay. So that's gonna be three damage to my face. Go down to three. And I love how you can't tell. <laughs> uh, yeah. When are they gonna fix this? I I'd like to put out the... Fight rigging, um, what you call the, the different um, organized the triggers because I want to get. Oh, never mind, we got another Titan. Uh, so, yeah, we're fine. But I wanted uh, this, the first fight rigging to be uh, on the stack after the second one. It's fine. Uh, so, we're gonna get our uh, Titan here, gain some life, and make a token. And opponent should just be conceding. Uh, me, please. <laughs> Jeff Bezos is still so good. Uh, we should attack here. I wonder if you can pick no options, if I'm honest. 
Because I don't want to draw a card and go down to seven. Because I'm paranoid. So can we just do... Oh, we have to target something? Uh, I don't want to destroy my own fight rigging. How about... No, can I just cancel this? Man, can you tell I've been doing magic for a while? I don't understand the rules. It's great, I love it. Uh, can we just do it from a permanent that doesn't have counters? Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, easy. All right, we're good. We <laughs> we we managed to get around, understand. We managed to understand our own deck. That's good. I mean, that's life life goals right there. Fell down. It's not scary. Uh, we still are, have our two blockers. We could attack with fell down. Okay, so we're gonna take uh, two damage. Go down to six. But we are still alive, and next turn we're getting another Jeff Bezos out, and we win. I mean, we're very unlikely that we lose, which is a very rare thing to say against Mono Red. Sure, what do you get? Three <laughs> three mountains and a Feldon. I mean, could it get any better? I oh, he didn't play land, so he can play Lightning Strike plus a play with fire and bring me down to one. That'd be hilarious. That would be f muchus funus. <laughs> uh, whenever you know the opponent's ready. Play with fire, alright, so far, correct. And... To the bottom, lol. And end the festivities, sure. And that's it. And that's where the cookie crumbles. Let's go ahead and get our second base. Ah, oh, come on. I was gonna get my Elon Musk out together with my bases. Okay, we need to go first, and this hand is El Terrible. Uh, yeah, we can't keep this, we're just dead. Even on the play. <laughs> the game is funny. I love getting the fight rigging and the two cards I want to put under the fight rigging. Great, 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 great. But we are not mulliganing twice, so... Yeah, we'll keep this. We'll throw one of you out. Hopefully we get to play one of the Itali. Itali is such a... It seems like a cool card. It'd be fun to play. Fun to try out, one would say. Skino, are you ready? Can I please have priority and make play my turn? Please? Okie dokie. So yeah, let's get our land out and pass the turn. So Skino, what do you play? We face Soldier's Black. Ah, another red. <laughs> okay, cool. A different type. Oh, maybe it's a spell casting red deck. Who knows? With Chandra, right? It's not, but one could always dream that the uh, <laughs> opponents want to craft something new. I'm really excited to make some new uh, free-to-play decks from scratch, from brown bronze to mythic. I'm really excited to do that, but we will see. We will see. Sticky fingers, okay. All right. He's gonna gain. That. It's not a card I usually see in one red, but hey, to each his or her own. Okay, perfect. Second part of my puzzle. Uh, we play you out. I mean, why not? I mean, if he has if he has two play with fires, I mean, that's what happens. Then I'm, st I'm standing there with uh, fight rigging and nothing to fight. So what are you gonna do, Skino? All right, Felden again. I think that's the, what, the fourth one we've seen this event so far. Such a fun card, indeed. Maybe I should just play mono red and do that from Mythic to <laughs> from Bronze to Mythic. That would be fun to watch, right? But I don't think... Okay, Reckless Impulse, alright. So we get to keep our Shakedown Heavy, that's pretty good. He has to play with Fire, it's good, I guess. Okay, uh, lol. Uh, let's play you out. And we're gonna wait with the Land of War Oasis, so we're gonna attack. You're probably not gonna take the damage, we draw a card. And if it's a tap land, I'd like to play it. If, if I'm allowed to play this card, that is. Okay, cool, and... Right, that is a terrible, terrible, terrible hideaway. Uh, I guess we go with fight rigging, huh? Fight rigging, and we play. We might as well play you out. So, can I please attack, opponent? Uh, second rope so far. I should keep a. I should keep a counter to see how many ropes in one event. So we get to get a second fight rigging out. Anything good here in this one? In this one? This in one? Hey, Itali! Maybe we get to play it. Maybe we get it out. Uh, it's a really... yeah. Maybe we do. Let's go ahead and attack here. And... 
I mean, if he takes the damage, that's pretty cool too. We gotta get him down and taking... Wow. Alright, 7 damage to the face. <laughs> I, I take it. But I guess he must have some removal then for my Shakedown Heavy. Maybe those two cards is a Play With Fire and a Lightning Strike. Okay, never mind. If <laughs> he... I guess not, but he's pretty... no. Yeah. No, I don't think so. I don't th he's not gonna finish off my Shakespeare Heavy. This Heavy is safe. Alright, full aggressive mode, huh? I'll take three, no problem. He gets another treasure. And yeah, what else are you gonna do? Reckless Impulse, okay. Hey, is that exact amount to kill my Shakespeare Heavy? <laughs> Fantastic, L love, I mean, great, great game, guys. I love it. This is, you know, mm, man, <laughs> who needs antidepressants, right? Ah, Dilali. Yep, well, oh, ha, ha. <laughs> great. <laughs> oh, life is, uh, life is great. So, let's see what kind of creatures we get, or what kind of non-land permanents we get from Itali. You, please, bitter. And let's try a new card out. Well, that's not bad, I'd say. Vorinclex plus uh, Thundering Raiju. <laughs> I bet you wanted this card, opponent. Lols. We get some cards here, too. How about one of you and one of you, since we're lacking uh, two red sources. And let's go ahead and attack. And we'll put the counter on you. So we have two modified creatures. Deal ah, this is just... Mwah. How can you not enjoy this, right? This is... This is... This is... Uh, Optimal magic right here. It's definitely not an idiotic deck by idiotic person. Idiotic YouTuber. God. Lightning Strike, sure. Down to nine. We're still ahead. With a lot of power on the board. Alright, sure. He gets to draw a couple of cards here. And two mana. How are you gonna deal with uh, one Warring Clex, one Thundering Raiju, one Itali, and a Sha well, Shake and Heavy can just give me a card. But yeah, I gotta say though, I think I prefer the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Uh, I like having- okay, cool. I think that card is better, but hey, we try not Itali at least, that's something. Okay, opponent gets to go first, I mean, come on, <laughs> Magic Santa Claus, please, I've been a good boy. <laughs> I, I not so nice. Uh, and this hand is fine. I mean, we have a basic for the <laughs> drag to the bottom. Yeah, maybe that's a bad idea too. Maybe we need something else than drag to the bottom. And we're playing as Esper. Fun! Fun, 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 fun. I love it all. Turn to nothing. That could only mean one thing. Make disappear. Let's go ahead and check it out, I suppose. Uh, Bankbuster, be prepared to go to the bin. Nope. I stand corrected, syncope. You went to the exile dimension. Three mana do nothing, feels great. Uh, I guess just heavy, see if he has another counter spell. Do you? Two for two? Tanilicious, whatever, whatever your name is. Uh, oh, cool, you're a really fun player. I mean, this is the kind of guy you want to share a beer with, right? <laughs> this is the person you like to play Friday Night Magic with. Uh, we're actually not going to play the Mire. Uh, even though he's exiling all my creatures. Archfind of the draws. Okay, no more counter spells, but it looks like he has removal. If I may say so. The atmosphere is rather ominous. Soul partition, okay, well. Fair. Fair opponent. Cool. And Sunset Revelry. Two mana draw one card. Very good. Hey, suddenly the drag to the bottom became a lot better. Uh, I guess we just play you out. Okay, still no more counter spells. That's good. Yeah, I mean we have all our red sorcerers to hard cast Itali. Okay, all the seven drops and no, <laughs> and no uh, fight regaining. Feels great. So let's go ahead and attack. See if he has uh, what's it called? Uh, what do you might call it? Uh, Emperor. God, my brain is fried. Spent all evening just trying to make this deck. Uh, well, let's get the Archfiend out and see what he have. If he okay, Mind Splash Apparatus. What the? F okay, really fun player here. Mind Splash Apparatus with red and black. God knows why. Are we screwed? I mean, if he light up the night, my Archfiend. Okay, so that was his win condition, right? 
Uh, sadly, we did not. Let's see if he untaps and gives me another land. He doesn't. Instead, I get another 7 drop. Feels great. I mean, he's pretty screwed here, right? He needs to have, um, what you might call it? Well, not that. Well, I'd rather have him played right now. Well then, let's see if Vitaly can uh, do some more damage again. Or did he draw another counter spell? Sometimes foreshadowing is relatively obvious. Son of a bitch! That's the third one! What the heck? God damn. Alright, cool, but gas out. Can you please gas out a bonnet for the... Okay, cool, that's not too bad. Ah, that's not too bad. Okay, he's gassed out. Thank you. So now we're gonna go ahead and remove that stupid minus plus apparatus because Jeff Bezos here did not like that crap. Jeff Bezos prefers <laughs> prefers to do the mind controlling himself. Bam. There goes your win condition. So what did you draw? More land, please. I mean, obviously you drew land or something else pointless. Minus plus apparatus is gone, so... They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. You know what? Fuck this game. <laughs> this is ins Wow, nice top end, dude. Sure, at least we can bring him down, kinda. Do you think he had a. I think he might have, whatchamacallit, a board wipe here, so we're just gonna go ahead and put a shield cannon on this Bezos. God damn, dude. Some people just get it all, huh? Can I get a fight rigging? That'd be cool. <laughs> I'd love it. If I'm allowed. Hello? Oh, sounds Twilight sucked, Mike. <laughs> hey, Itali. You know what? Let's uh, attack here. And uh, let's play this Itali. Let's play him out. And what do we get? Wow. Very impressive card. It's not like I wanted, you know... Tyrannus X Rex, or it's called. But hey, we get to kill two tokens. That's always something, now, isn't it? Yeah, damn, dude. Alright. So, of these five cards, do you have anything that... I mean, of course you do. How did it turn out so wrong? He was down to zero cards, and then... The victory was so close. We even killed his Mindspace apparatus, and... Oh, God. Okay. Sure. I'll... Okay. Alright. Then what are you gonna do? More land. <laughs> oh shoot, we could have um we could have transformed a tally. I Ah, oh, I missed it. Oh, we could have won. Well, let's do this at least. That's bad. That feels really bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we had enough to transform him. Well, we'll do it next turn. Or not, it doesn't really matter, he's at one life. If we get to tie next turn, it's just over. And... Fires the victory. Why? Oh, uh, you know what? I can make mistakes like that if the opponent can't even count, that's fine. Okay, sure, gain three life. Vital you know what? Okay, cool! <laughs> you know, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, I forgot to... It's fine, it's fine. Alright, we got there. Uh, six wins means uh, is it with two packs and some gems. I'll take it. Please, Gibbs, Gibbs to me at the pack. So let's let's open up these two. I mean, let's treat ourselves a little bit. We get another rare wild card here, which is kind of dope. And okay, so we're getting this. Okay. Sure, I guess I'll take that instead of a common standard card. Uh, and uh, what is... Oh, we're getting... Do we get these in every... Another weird one? Uh, this one is pretty cool. I was thinking of putting Yargirl in the deck, but yeah, I'd rather go for the red dinosaur. Either way, let's talk about the deck, and I think it comes to no surprise that uh, Itali was not so good. And let's drag to the bottom together with having... we have less basics to put in the the red lands. So, I mean, uh, drag to the bottom was a little bit of a bust as well. Vorinclex was cool, but I think it's better suited for, you know, a, a mid range kind of deck or ramp deck. It's not for this deck. I think we want the Rex here, if I, you know, can spell. Okay, and uh, too many creatures. Can we just go green, please? Yeah. And Mythic. There he is. Yeah, I think Tyrannix Rex is just... Because it has haste. If you get it out with fight rigging, you just win, right? And Itali can go. And uh, yeah, I think Tyrannix Rex is just perfect for this. It was fun to try Vorinclex. I mean, it, it was cool. Now for this deck though, and uh, yeah, what else do we want to add to this deck? We're missing two cards. Hmm. I mean, 
Uh, you can really add whatever you want. I don't really. It's fine. I would play something like this plus, uh, I don't know, Portal of Phyrexia or two removal or two more Bankbuster, two more removal. Whatever you want. I think this deck is fine because a lot of people are going to try to farm decks now in standard events with our aggro decks. And this deck kind of counters it, especially with... You can actually switch out to Ranex Rex and put in Atraxa just to really say fuck you to all the aggro decks. But yeah, thanks so much for watching till the end, you rock. Like and subscribe and... Have a good fucking day!